Hello out there in YouTube land. This is Jennifer Tochi. What am I doing for my first video of 2022? Well, I'm voicing my opinion. <laughs> voicing, yes. To a little... Um, difference of opinion, not fight, mind you, between two certain channels out there, Hobbs Horror and Have Cheetah Will View, yes, <laughs> um, about a movie called The Trees Have Eyes, <laughs> not the hills, the trees have eyes, yes. Um, Cheetah thinks it's a bunch of baloney, <laughs> and Hobbs thinks it's cool, <laughs> and so I got the DVD, which I'm, is at the other side of the room, and I don't want to restart my video and have to edit it in, so I'm not going to get up and get it. <laughs> so, 2020's The Trees Have Eyes, starring Tony Moran. <laughs> I'm right there, you know. <laughs> you know, that guy can play a bastard. <laughs> and he's great at doing it. And where's my drink? Uh, okay, yeah. And... Yeah. Um. So I watched the movie. Yes. I'm not on any person's side without watching it. And I'm going to give an honest review of the movie. Yes. It's an ITN distribution movie. 2020 director Jordan Pascal yeah I don't know I probably just ruined that name 75 minutes yes stars Tony Moran Tim Timothy Patrick Quill David Michael Carpenter and Jackie B. Fabian. Fabian? Fabian? I don't know. But if it's Fabian, that's a hard name to live up to, I must say. That hair. Oh, on Fabian. Okay. Sorry. I have to keep my mouth and my tongue full of liquid today. Okay, this is basically a movie about flesh-eating zombies. Not about... It, it's different. The trees, the zombies inside the trees have eyes. And they are coming to kill you. They are coming, yes. And of course, it's in the woods, so what happened to come along... Are teenagers, yes, who want to have sex, and of course, one of them always has to go along and do a uh, strip, strip down and go into the river, no matter how freezing it is, yes, to give the, give the, I guess the movie a little hoot for the guys. <laughs> Yes, yes, six teenagers, two male and female couple, and one female couple. <clears throat> these, these zombies, I, I appreciate it a lot, because I've been noticing in a lot of zombie movies, you know, 
that they have the same movements, you know? It's like, um, it reminds me of one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go. <laughs> like, like the staying alive movie, you know? Um, uh, like they're doing a dance musically, you know, like thriller, you, you know, except they're not doing it in dance way. It's like a zombie moves. And they're told to do eight steps and then do it again, except they're, they're doing it a different time, you know, and, um, and sometimes they notice it in the background and it drives me crazy. And that's why sometimes I get mad at zombie movies, but I notice myself noticing that, oh my gosh, they're moving the way they want to. What? <laughs> I notice weird things about movies sometimes. I'm sorry. Yeah, I do. And also, this is the first time I've seen a nipple bitten off a person before they go for the belly and rip the guts out of a person. I said, huh, why was that done? You know, and I was like, interesting. Interesting, yes. <laughs> yes, I'm Sigmund, Sigmund Freud of the of the zombie movies, I guess, today. <laughs> yes, but um I think Randall and his girlfriend did the best quote of the movie. Um she says what, is it the hillbillies that are after us? And he says, Fucking hillbillies don't take hatchets to the throat and keep trying to bite you. <laughs> and of course, um, there, there has to be some, another group of people that comes into the forest. And those are bounty hunters that are after a guy who robbed a bank. And I guess he killed somebody, too. And they're after him. And Tony Moran plays one of those bounty hunters. And he's the biggest prick, I mean, biggest doo-doo head of them all. <laughs> and, um, yes. Doo-doo head. Ooh. I actually said that. Excuse me. Um, yes. Um, so, whose side am I on in this movie? I enjoyed this movie. I'm sorry, Patrick, but I did. But I didn't enjoy it, I don't think, it, as much as Hobbes did. Mmm. I don't think they knew how to end the movie right. That's what I, the only thing that bothered me about this movie was. They didn't know how to end the movie. It was like, it was like they went on too long with all the other, I loved the blood and guts effects on it. Um, uh, like, Shoot them in the head or they won't die, you know, and rip their guts out. Rip a nipple off somebody, you know. Um, yeah, it's but I mean they didn't know how to end the movie. That kinda of bugged me. So I think they cheated right here with the movie. This is well, actually I think he'd be all the way down to the floor in this movie if um I would guess how much he likes it and Hobbs horror is like right here and I think I'm right here thinking about how much I like the movie. So, yeah. So that's my sound in on The Trees Have Eyes. And I promise I was totally impartial when I was watching this movie. 
I actually was not thinking of you two at any time during this movie. I was thinking of, oh, the zombies aren't dancing. And, oh, my gosh, they just bit the nipple off that lady. I, <laughs> okay, that's the end of my review. <laughs> oh, what a great start for 2023. <laughs> Goodbye.